This course aims to get you totally up to speed with the jQuery UI library, showing you in detail how to use every single widget, interaction helper, and utility, and how to make the most of its additional features, such as the effects suite and the advanced theming capabilities. Each chapter in the course is dedicated to a single component from the library, and each chapter is broken down into bite-sized lessons that focus on a single aspect of the component being used. It's not necessary to watch the course in sequence, so if you've used the library before and just want to see how to use a new component, you can quite happily watch just those lessons from the course that are applicable. I would recommend that you watch the individual lessons in each chapter in sequence, although again this isn't strictly necessary. We're going to look at every single widget in the library, including the accordion widget, the progress bar, the tabs, the button, the slider, tooltip, the menu, the spinner, the dialog, the autocomplete, and the date picker. We're also going to cover the interaction helpers in full, which include the draggable and droppable, the selectable, resizable, and sortable components. We'll also look at some aspects of the core of the library, including the methods we can use, the new selectors, and the jQuery methods that jQuery UI overrides. We're also going to cover the common API shared by most of the components in the library, including the common API methods, configurable options, and events. We'll also take a brief look at some of the CSS aspects of the library, including the class system that we can use to add jQuery UI styling to our own widgets or elements, and how to use Theme Roller to build a custom theme or extend an existing one. We'll also look at the beautiful effects that jQuery UI adds for us to use with animations. Lastly, we'll look at the widget factory, which is the powerful mechanism that constructs all of the jQuery UI components, and which we can use to create our very own interactive and stateful widgets. We won't cover every single feature of every single component. We simply don't have time to look at every single configuration option, event, or method. But you're going to learn the basics. More than just the basics, in fact. Probably something approaching the intermediary usage of the framework. I've used jQuery UI in many projects, so I've tried to give you all of the most common options, methods, and events that I have found myself using time and time again in real situations. Developers that have used the framework before can still learn from this course but essentially new users to the library will gain the most from it. This course could take you from knowing nothing about the library at all to being able to use it confidently and effectively to build beautiful sites and applications.